hoping <laughs> that maybe over the next couple of months some planning can occur. People are trapped. Not trapped by water at the moment, they're trapped in properties that they cannot get out of. If they sell them to someone else, that just means someone else is trapped in a property in a flood zone. I would ask counsel to consider a resolution asking the manager and the attorney to explore acquiring flooded property. Yes, FEMA has some programs for this. But before people completely put tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars into properties, perhaps counsel could look at it. I'm asking our counsel to consider requesting proposals from hydraulics engineers to look at McLaughlin Run and see if we can find a solution. I know everyone, I have my own ideas. I'm an accountant, not a hydraulics engineer. So we should get some good information. Let's get some requests for proposal. It doesn't cost anything to ask. We'll find out how much it is. The third is really tough for me. There is a project that is near and dear to my heart. The south end of Washington Avenue, where we sit in traffic every day to get on Interstate 79. That project, last meeting, council authorized $488,000. Let's call it a half a million. I think council should rescind that authorization and hold Bridgeville's money for Bridgeville. Yes. It might come in, it, you might end up being able to use it in the future for that project. I think that that project is something that's very important to me. I've fought for it. I want it. It's important to our town so that our residents can get home at night and get to work in the morning. We, we all agree it, it passed seven to nothing, right? Yep. I'm asking that you consider rescinding that. Between now and 2020, maybe the state, or for that matter, the federal government will come up with the money to do what is a regional project. It is an entrance to a federal highway. So if they come up with the money to do the highway project, that leaves $488,000, half a million, for you and this council to use for Bridgeville. Thank you very much.